What's up guys? It's your boy Kenny Daily back with another episode of Let's Sew. So I know it's been forever since I posted an episode. I've just been working on creating pieces for my clothing line. It's just been kind of hectic because I'm going through all these different stages. I'm taking out some pieces. I'm throwing in some pieces. I'm doing so much alteration to my collection and there's just a, lot, just a lot of work going on. In this episode, the piece that I'm going to show you guys or the one I'm going to create is a throwaway, meaning that it was part of my collection at one point. Maybe this video might turn around after I get some feedback, some opinions and whatnot. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into the episode. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hope you guys are having a good day. For this project, I really wanted to create a piece of clothing that I can just throw over. Not necessarily button up or zip up or anything like that, but just kind of throw over, layer it with a couple things, maybe a flannel under if I really wanted to, and then a long tee. But that's the main focus of this piece of clothing, it's just a layering piece. To be honest, I was never a fan of zipping up or button up in my clothing i just think i don't know it's just not s something i like doing because then you gotta button it up and then you gotta zip it up and then you gotta zip it off and then, you know it's a lot of work i really am just one of those lazy guys that just wants to throw something over now the experimental design is based upon a noragi now if you guys don't know what noragi is it's basically a button up cardigan combination mixture transformation i don't know how to explain it but it's kind of like that and I wanted to kind of branch off the idea. Now for this design, instead of it going all the way around your body, it goes kind of up to midway over your side, almost going over your chest. It's formally called a sweater cape or that's how I've been uh, identifying it. But that's what I'm going to be making in this episode. You guys can let me know your comments, your opinions about it in the comment section below, obviously. Oh, and before I forget, I was going to try out asymmetrical uh, looks with this piece of clothing. So if you guys see a little something funky funky about how it fits or when I throw it on, you're going to be like, uh, this kind of this weird. It's, it's kind of slanted to the left. I, I don't know about that. Uh, it's it's like that on purpose. I purposely made some parts bigger, some parts smaller, and you'll see it as you watch the video. But I'm trying asymmetrical clothing just because I got inspired by one of these local designers um, in my city. I went to a fashion, like a little fashion show, I guess, and his main focus was asymmetrical clothing, and I really liked how it. It brought out something else to like it gave the piece of clothing a different appearance and it just it was so dope like I, I mean I want to thank the uh, designer who made the collection or made the little fashion show but he was obviously so busy because you know he's trying to run a show though he doesn't want to talk to no random freaking person about it so I was just like alright alright all right, fam alright alright <laughs> But I got really inspired by that, so you're going to see a lot of asymmetrical clothing in my future Let's Sews just because I like the concept and I want to explore it some more. And let's see where it goes from there. So the next thing I want to talk about is the fabric that I chose for this project. The camo print is a sweater knit. It's a two-way stretch. It's pretty warm on the inside because it has that uh, lining on the inside. But I wanted to add a little shine to the inside, so I decided to put some lining fabric over or under the camo print. Now, the way that I kind of pieced everything together was very inefficient. I know I was like looking back at it like, what the fudge was I thinking? So next time, I'm going to be more methodical about how I piece things together. Of course, this was a prototype, so I didn't really thoroughly plan out the lining because before I would I didn't even think of adding lining it was just kind of like a last minute thing so uh, I'm very sorry about uh, the, this this improper use of lining here next time I'm probably gonna be 
like I said, more methodical. Anyways, so the lining fabric, I'm not really sure what it is. It's people are gonna say it's some sort of pleather. It's not. It's really, 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 really not. So um, if anyone can identify the fabric just to help others, please drop that down in the comment section below. But that is the fabric that I'm using for this let's sew. Now it's that time of the video where I answer a comment from my last episode. And before I jump into it, I just want to say thank you to everyone, you know, throwing that young support. Another one, another one. Uh, just It's just so humbling to have everyone or just have people, you know, throw their support, throw their opinions. It's just, it's just a humbling experience, especially if it's criticism. It's fine too. Like you got to throw that criticism once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, the comment that I picked out is from Taco Diablo and he writes, I just want to say you are my savior. I'm 16 and I've been in foster care for a year and I've been trying to find something to help me go through this. When I started watching you, I instantly went and got a sewing machine and ever since then, my life has been better. My friends and family are supportive and I wouldn't have started if it wasn't for you. Thank you. First and foremost, I just want to say that things will work out. I know it is rough for you right now, but... Things will always eventually work out. I've learned that through my life. Like, I'd be having them hard times, though. And I'd be like, what do I do, though? And then I just kind of, you know, I gradually become better. But that's amazing that, you know, you find me as a person that you can look, look up to. I mean, that's something that I've been trying to do for the longest time. I want to inspire people to get into sewing. I've been saying this a lot. I know it's so repetitive, though. But I just want to say thank you for watching. I mean, I wouldn't be here without people like you, without everyone watching. So keep it going. You can do it. Life will just get better. With a lot more butter. <laughs> Anyways, here is the piece of clothing on body. The sleeves are raw as always. And the piece of clothing is asymmetrical as you can see. Let me know what you guys think about the asymmetrical look. I really enjoy how it looks on body. I don't know. It's just something that I really enjoy. Anyways, here, here's me doing some corny-ish for y'all. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, this your boy, Kit Andrew Daily. Hope you guys have a good one. Remember to keep it daily. And I hope to see you guys next time. Peace! Oh, what the fudge is this? Thank <laughs> you.